Hello everybody and welcome back to EVE. We are during our purple pain mission. And well, if you remember in the previous episode I was circling a big crater and we're now at the end of said crater, which is right about here. Since we have done that, we're going to head further north in order to find some more biomes. Especially the poles. I really want to reach the poles with this mission. So, yeah, the artwork is now trudging along towards the North Pole. Let's see how far we can get along before we reach it. And yeah, this took me, well, a lot of time, as you can imagine, since driving around on a planet like EVE takes quite some time and the rover is not that fast as I would have liked, but anyways, I hope you can appreciate what I did for you here. Okay, we're going to head through that rock since it is just for optical uh, reasons only there. Now we're here at another crater and I was kind of hoping that, first of all, I don't explode while sliding down that slope and also that maybe there's another biome down there because it looked like some... well, yes, there's a lake in there and I know that there's a biome called Crater Lake but maybe it's not this one. But maybe it's the Explodium Sea biome, since it is some sea thingy. So yeah, as before, we are going to fill up on our liquid fuel and oxidizer with our trusty little drill and refinery, of course. Then we're gonna head out a little bit to see whether or not we get a new biome. Look at that. Those visual enhancement mods really make the game a lot more worthwhile. Okay, heading out now. But the problem was that... Well, the further I headed out, the less fuel I had, of course, so my capabilities to getting back to land were diminished, but I didn't get any new biome, so I reloaded the game before I went down there and drove around the crater. So we're here now on the northern side of that crater. And now we're heading even further north. So yeah, the next stop is, hopefully, probably, the poles. So yeah, you can see here, look at that, we're already quite up north, you can't see the terrain because of all of those clouds. And while we're driving along, even though the scenery doesn't really change, the biome does though. Okay, we're now officially at the pole, or poles. So let's get some of that tasty little science and of course our scientist Bob has to collect everything. All in all Eve has about 15 biomes. So I'm already at about 11 of those so we're doing quite well. Let's see how many we can get because I'm going to try to head to another one. And in order to do that we have to set a new waypoint and to set a new waypoint we have to of course see the terrain and to see the terrain we need curbnet curb access, there we go. And this is Crater Lake. So yeah, we're going to head there and see if we can get the science from that biome. And maybe on our way, yeah, this could be some more Explodium Sea biome over there. So. Yeah, let's head there and look at that, this looks nice. Green clouds at EVE, would you look at that. But before we do some more sightseeing, let's get it on, get our solar panels out so we uh, generate enough electricity to drive this thing. And then head towards the southwest. First we headed a little bit west, then we headed a lot east, now we headed north, and we're now heading southwest. 
through what looks like some marshlands. This looks, well, not really dangerous. You can drive around those tiny little puddles of Explodium, presumably Explodium. But we need to get a new biome. So maybe it's here? No, it isn't. And... Well, this looks promising. All right. Well, we're nowhere in the Explodium Sea, but for some reason we are in the biome of the Explodium Sea, so yeah, I'll take it. This is nice because I didn't have to use my... Oh, look at that. Sunrise... No, or sun, no sunset rather. No, sunrise? Yes, this is the sunrise. Sunrise above Eve. Look at that. Gray... Green cloud thingies. Bob is quite astonished by this sight. And after he was taking in the scenery, he of course fulfills his duties as scientists, which is getting all those science modules and restoring them. Once we did that, we headed further south. And the goal is now the Crater Lake. This is a lake, but it's not the Crater Lake. This is way too small for Crater Lake. This is Crater Lake. Do you see? Here we are. And once again, thankfully, the biome spills over to land, so I don't really have to get inside the water to collect the science from that water. This is great. But if I had knew, known that, I could have saved a lot of weight on that rover. So I would not have needed the engine, I would not have needed the drill or the refinery. So yeah, but it's okay. It also helps sometimes to get up very steep slopes if you activate the engine. Okay, next order of business, get to the RV, the return vehicle. And while we did that, we got another sunrise, even more beautiful and even more green. Greener? I don't know. Bob is fascinated once again, or was it Bill? I don't care. And now we're heading once again south, after we headed north, we drove around those uh, lakes and craters and now we're heading south towards the return vehicle. And we're taking in the scenery once more. Beautiful and dangerous, those clouds will kill you if you breathe them in. Which is of course... Um, the same on Venus. If you've watched uh, one of the previous episodes of Purple Pain, I explained the differences between Eve and Venus and how dangerous and deadly Venus really is. And yes, here we are, finally at our destination. After thousands of kilometers of driving and hours of tedious maneuvering, we are now at our goal. This thing here will get us into orbit and into the safety of our Azenas transfer vehicle. Hopefully. Okay, let's park this at a safe distance. Nice. And it's still working. This is good. Once more, looking at the sunset or sunrise or rather I'm, I'm always mixing those up I don't know why but now what we have to do is commander Valentina has to get in there or has to at least get off that ladder well that was not very gracefully since Valentina is going to pilot this thing she of course will be the first one to board it And we have here one of the pylons that housed the parachutes. And... Yes, let's get in there. Okay, everything seems to be intact. This is good. 
and we can get up there on that platform which is good as well and yes let's get in there some of you may have noticed that this is a bit of a callback to um, the Martian movie where they kind of crawl through a tube into that ascent vehicle. I took some inspiration from that design to be honest. And here we have the crew hatch for the crew module and once Valentina is inside of course well, the next one is Bill, and Bill, since he is already conditioned to repair wheels all the time, since the artwork breaks its wheels all the time, he sees broken wheels and he has to repair them. Yeah, this is like a compulsory thing for Bill now. I'm not sure if he's okay, maybe he has to get checked out once we get back to Kerbin. Are there Kerbal psychologists? Maybe, I don't know. But let's get in there and get on board of the RV. Okay, Bob, get the science. Ding 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 This goes on for a while. Since we gathered science from about 13 biomes and we have about 10 science experiments, you can do the math. This is about 130 items that have scrolled through there. Okay, once more looking at Eve, saying goodbye to the purple pane of the galaxy and heading towards the safety of the ascent vehicle. And once on board, we're going to do exactly that, ascend from Eve. Ready for action, engines checking out. Fuel is full and lift off. Okay, some minor adjustments already. Look if the base is exploding, which is okay, we don't need it anymore. And yeah, those are the first drop tanks. Three, two, one, boom! Let's get rid of those. And then there is the next ones. Okay, three, two, one, and the next batch of tanks are dropping down. And now we're heading further up through the thick soup that is Eve's atmosphere. Pointy, isn't it? Okay, I've sped it up a bit, so you don't have to sit through it like I recorded it. Look at that, really beautiful. Okay, once more we dropped some boosters, we're now on our, well, almost penultimate stage. We are on our penultimate stage. Still the tube with the ladder is still attached. But let's see how it works out. Some atmospheric heating taking place, but we're, yeah, moving out of it fine and nicely. Okay, final stage! Boom! There we go. This looks like, now that I look at it, this looks like a cross between a Viper from Battlestar Galactica and a TIE Defender. Look at those those panels, like those uh, radiator panels of that TIE Defender. Those of you who played the TIE Fighter game back in the 90s, maybe you remember what I'm talking about. I really liked that game. Also, it had Admiral Thrawn in it, and everything with Admiral Thrawn in it is great. We are now safely out of the atmosphere, so let's do our circularization burn. Boom! There we go. And this fine little spacecraft is now going to rendezvous with the Asinus, our transfer vehicle. One final look at Eve once more. Look at that. It looks so small, but it was so huge when we were back down there. Also, Bill and Bob take one more look out of their crew cabin and wonder 
if they will ever return to this planet. They don't really care for it because it was really tedious to do the work, but a Kerbal's work is never done. And of course, science has to be gathered all the time, every time. Okay, looks like a good encounter with the Azanas, and here we are. This faithful beast of a transfer vehicle has waited patiently in orbit tens and hundreds of days until the crew got back. So yeah, we're going to get in there. Okay, we've got rid of our fairing and inside that fairing, which we of course needed for the atmospheric ascent, is a small docking port and that docking port enables us to BOOM! Dock inside this weird contraption. Okay now, I'm here trying to set up a rendezvous with Kerbin, but actually we'll have to wait a few more days until we really be able to get there. And yeah, those are the remains of the stuff that we are going to leave on Eve. A monument to Kerbal Kind, to exploration of one of the harshest environments in the galaxy, in the known galaxy, of course. This will remain here until maybe sometime other generations of Kerbals will get back here. So, the part on the surface of Purple Pain is finished, the series, however, is not. There is still one more thing to do, but this will happen in a future episode. So, as always, thank you for watching, goodbye.